let us come to to the calculations involving calculations involving the unit cells the unit cells yes Hmm? Involving unit cell dimensions. Fine. Unit cell dimensions. Okay. Now what happens? <coughs> we know the volume of the unit cell. We also know the, the number of atoms that a unit cell contains for a given configuration. From that, I will be able to find out the density of an object, right? I should be able to get the density of something, okay? So, 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 so we may form an equation where, where we where we get the get where we are able to express our density in terms of the cell dimensions right we should be able to do that okay so if we sorry 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 if we know the density of the unit cell if if we know the density of if we know the density of the substance then what happens if I know the density then I will be able to calculate the mass of the atoms right mass per atom or density of the substance we can calculate the mass of the mass of the particle now that particle can be anything okay it could be a molecule it could be an atom it could be an ion that that we already know okay now once we know the mass okay if we know the mass if we know the mass if we know the mass we can accurately calculate in a which is Avogadro's number Avogadro's number how do I do that how do we do that let a be the edge of the cube let a be the edge length of the cube okay and let z be the number of atoms atoms inside that okay and let small z be the number of atoms in the in the unit cell or edge length of the unit cell right which in our case is a is a cube z is the number of atoms in the unit okay which is which is equal to 1 for cubic 
सिंपल क्यूबिक यस वो सिंपल क्यूबिक शुड बी टू फॉर बी सी सी एंड फोर फॉर एफ सी सी सो सेंस इट इज इट इज अ वेरिएबल क्वान्टिटी आई हैव टेकन इट एज जेड ओके नाउ इफ यू नो द डेंसिटी ऑफ द सब्सटेंस इफ वी नो द डेंसिटी ऑफ द सब्सटेंस एंड वॉट डू वी यूज फॉर डेंसिटी से 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 डी इज इक्वल टू डेंसिटी then then what is the what is the what is the what is the density in terms of the cell dimensions <clears throat> okay so d will be what it will be z z is the number of atoms into mass per atom okay it will be mass per atom right z into m so so this is the total mass divided by aq okay now what is m what is mass per atom that will that is the molecular mass or the atomic mass divided by gram atomic mass divided by n a n sorry capital a no m m m is the gram molecular mass gram molecular mass 1 gram molecular mass of something contains how much avogadro's number of species we call it species atoms or molecules or whatever that is equal to 1 mole but m here is gram molecular mass don't don't get confused see 1 mole denotes two things simultaneously it either denotes gram molecular mass or it denotes it denotes avogadro's number it's not mole if it is mole it will be 1 upon na i am saying this is the gram molecular mass so for example for for sodium it is 23 Is twenty three grams as one mole, hmm? and hope hope you know that derivation also. Why why twenty three grams is one mole? Hmm? No. Can you derive Avogadro's number, or can you yourself become Avogadro? Hmm? You know that derivation, no? Okay, we'll do it. Don't worry. So, so 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 let us be clear. this is gram molecular mass why because m grams contains contains n a particles is it not m grams contains so many particles so what is the mass of one 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 such particle so one One gram contains n a by uh, no. I am doing n a particles weighs or m gram weight. It's not. So yeah, has mass. So m gram. Okay. So one particle has mass m by. In the grams. That's what I'm trying to say. Mass of one particle. One particle. And there are how many particles? Z particles. So M is actually mass of one particle. One particle. You have understood, or or there is still a confusion. You have understood why M is not a mole. Though it contains one mole of things, that is one Avogadro number of species. As far as its mass is concerned, it is equal to capital M gram molecular mass. One one uh, one mole contains contains mass in grams, right? So gram molecular mass. So M is equal to that. So what do I do? I put this there. So D becomes 
D becomes Z into M upon N A into A cube. So capital M is one mole. <laughs> it is gram molecular mass. Capital M. Yes. M grams. That's what I'm telling you. See, this is this is a very very common confusion. One mole, in a sense, denotes two things. One mole is a number. Normally, M is a number. But when you say I have got one mole of things, what is it equivalent to in mass? The gram? No, mass. That is a number. N A. That is six point N A, which is which is six point. 0, 2, 2 into 10 to the power 23, that is the number. number but, of yes, but mass wise it is what? M. Gram. Wait, I will come back to it, do not worry. You, you first understand this, but, but until unless you understand that, you will not understand this. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Fine. Now with this, you can very easily calculate your your value of N A. Okay. So so if if someone has given you the the density and you know the gram molecular mass of it, then 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 N A can be calculated and verified whether what N A you get. But, but there can be so many calculations that are possible with this, right? It's not only Na. So maybe someone gives me M and Na I know, then I can calculate the density, okay? I can calculate the density. Or if someone gives me everything else, then I can calculate the volume per unit cell. Or that is, I can find out the, the, the le edge length, okay? And then I can verify it with, with, with the diffraction, techniques and see whether what I say and what I get are correct and normally they are very 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 correct okay it will be clearer if we if we do some examples based on this and that's what we'll do next